and welcome. My name is Alan, and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today, we are looking at Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith. She is one of the two senators for the state of Mississippi. She is a Republican, and before she took office, she was preceded in office by Thad Cochran. Now, let's take a look at who she is as an individual. She was born in Brookhaven, Mississippi on May the 10th, 1959. Graduated from Copia Lincoln Community College. Uh, earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Southern Mississippi in 1981. Was a cattle farmer. A member of the Mississippi State Senate from 2000 to 2012. Was Mississippi State Commissioner of Agriculture and Commerce from 2012 to 2018 before being appointed as a Republican to the U.S. Senate to fill the vacancy caused by the resignation of Thad Cochran. Took the oath of office on April 9, 2018. She was subsequently elected in a special election on November the 27th, 2018 been re-elected in 2020 for the term ending January 3rd, 2027. So she's officially in her second term. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees she is on. She is on the Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry, of which... She is on the Subcommittee on Commodities, Risk Management and Trade, of which she is a ranking member. She's on the Subcommittee on Conservation, Climate, Forestry, and Natural Resources, and the Subcommittee on Livestock, Dairy, Poultry, Local Food Systems, and Food Safety and Security. She's on the Committee on Appropriations, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug Administration, and Related Agencies. The Subcommittee on Energy and Water Development. The Subcommittee on Homeland Security. The Subcommittee on Labor, Health, and Human Services and Education and Related Agencies. And the Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing, and Urban Development and Related Agencies, of which she is a ranking member. She's on the Committee on Energy and Natural Resources, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Energy and the Subcommittee on National Parks. She's on the Committee on Rules and Administration, and she's on the Joint Committee on the Library. Now, let's look at her top five industry donors over her career. At the top is Retired, who altogether have donated 852,990 dollars. Next is Leadership Packs, who altogether have donated $649,167. Next is Crop Production and Basic Processing, who altogether have donated $461,013. Next is Oil and Gas, who altogether have donated $381,000. $87, and at number 5, Securities and Investment, who all together have donated $306,219. Now let's look at her top 5 individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number 1, we have Telepex Incorporated, and they 
are a company through its subsidiaries that provides wireless, local telephone exchange, broadband, internet, video, and long-distance services. And it serves clients in the United States. Altogether, it has donated a total of $64,380. And once again, that's Telepex Incorporated. Next, at number two, we have Seaman Composites. And they are a company that offers curing ovens, weaving equipment, and structural adhesives, as well as metal fabrication and welding services. It serves customers in the state of Mississippi. Altogether, it has donated $53,800, and once again, that's Seaman Composites. Next, at number three, we have General Atomics. It is an American energy and defense corporation headquartered in San Diego, California, that specializes in research and technology development. Altogether, it has donated $47,325. And once again, that's General Atomics. Next, at number four, we have Huntington Ingalls Industries. And they are the largest military shipbuilding company in the United States, as well as a provider of professional services to partners in government and industry and was formed on the 31st of March 2011 as a divestiture from Northrop Grumman. Northrop Grumman. Altogether, they have donated $43,478. And once again, that's Huntington Ingalls Industries. And at number five, we have BGR Group. And they are previously known as Barber, Griffith, and Rogers, and are a lobbying and communications firm based in Washington, D.C., with offices in London, Beijing, and Austin, Texas. Altogether, it has donated... $37,358, and once again, that's BGR Group. So yeah, uh, as far as donors looking at industries, again, I'm always happy to back when they have retired. It's at the top. Crop production and basic processing is a very necessary thing. The rest of them, I'm kind of like, uh Individually, I don't know enough about Telepex, uh, but it seems to be a telephone and internet company. Seaman Composites, um, again, another telecommunications company. Or, sorry, not a telecommunications, but a design and manufacturing company uh, creating uh, all kinds of different products used in uh, metal fabrication and welding and all that. So, yeah. Um, General Atomics Defense, Huntington Ingalls Defense, and BGR Group lobbying. So those last three, I'm like, eh, no. The first two, I mean, I can kind of see, I guess. But yeah, uh, General Atomics, Huntington Ingalls, and BGR Group, nah. Anyway, this has been a look at Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith 
who is one of the two senators from the state of Mississippi. But, as always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.